Good morning everyone, my name is Yusuf. I have done a lot of videos uh, explaining how much I make in a week, how much I make in a day, and how much I make in a month, and so on. But I've never made a video on how much a team a driver makes or team owner operator makes in a week. So in this video, I will let you know how much a team driver makes uh, in a week. So uh, this load that we have picked up, it is a load of onion. Uh, we were a little late of recording. I was a little late of recording. <laughs> so uh, we picked it up in California and we are already at the, our receiving in, uh, in New York and it paid $8,450. So let's go ahead and, and offload this uh, load and then go to our next uh, pickup location and pick up the load and see uh, where that is taken and how much that is paying. As we are still waiting for our load, I discovered they ha that I have an air leak. Let me go ahead and show you where that is. I need to get underneath. And like this. It is... Right from this one right here. It's leaking right over here. I need to make sure that the problem is fixed before we can hit the road or I mean we will, we will go ahead and pick up our next load first and then uh, right after that we will go to a, a speed who or loves and they should be able to take care of it last time it happened but it was like somewhere over here it was uh, right here somewhere over here and it was f it was uh, leaking from the fitting as well so it looks like uh, it's the same case now so it was my turn to drive I've been driving since uh, 10 30 in the night it's currently 5 Five and some change, fueling up at the uh, quick trip on exit 11A on 44 East. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our second load. It's uh, three, uh, well, six uh, pallets and 20 of these columns. Anyways, I had to move out of the uh, diesel island and also uh, I need to take my 30 minute break. So why not to record as I'm waiting? and taking my break because i don't i don't like to eat first thing in the morning so uh we had a little situation the uh the, the shipper did not tell me that this was not supposed to be uh chained i know whenever uh something that is painted is not supposed to be uh scratched i know that but however the reason that i wanted to chain it up because uh, that way I could at least secure these ends with the with the chain and I would put uh, I had my blanket out so I was gonna put my blanket and then chain on top of it so it won't scratch so he sees me taking taking my uh, chains out and he doesn't say anything about it un until I go ahead and like we go ahead and put the blankets and put the chains on and then he comes from all the way like 300 400 feet away and then he comes uh to next to my trailer and he says hold on uh i called the manager the manager is about to come and check how you're not supposed to uh chain it up i'm like ah uh, like why didn't you tell me in the in the beginning like are you playing games or what you see over here you cannot add straps so if you add a strap over here uh this is gonna rip it rip it apart and also these sharp edges uh, will uh, be on the way and also if you put a strap over here those those wood that they have put the spacers that they have put so that those columns won't touch will will get on the way of the strap so you cannot put a strap over here and the only place that you could put a strap oh, is like almost two and a half feet away from the edge which is really you're not supposed to put something like that you know you're supposed to be within the first two feet so that's why I wanted to put chains but then uh, he, they came out and said that they're not supposed to we're not supposed to put anything and also took some pictures but I told him you know what go ahead and check it now so <laughs> you don't you don't uh, talk about it when we are like you don't say that we have damaged your freight uh, later so they checked the took pictures and they said you were good to go all right so how much is this load paying? Yeah, I mean, where is it going? It is going to California and it's paying $6,900. So, uh, some people were commenting down below saying, hey, you're taking crappy rates. Uh, it's actually not crappy rate. You have to think about it this way. If you 
are focused on the amount of money that you can make in a week it's better to go ahead and do long haul and obviously you're gonna have to compromise your rate per mile because you're going long haul and you don't have to do lots of picks and lots of drops but you will save a lot of time because you're not waiting in the shippers or receivers for every single load you're only doing one load every four four days or something like that so you really uh, aren't wasting any time so and this for this load we literally got there and they were ready they got us loaded within like 15 20 minutes and then we just had to uh, strap it all right so uh the sun is about to come come up i'm waiting for my 30 minute <laughs> break to uh to come to an end and then we will hit the road That was the second load of the week. We are just getting offloaded and we have a good news. We have a really good paying load going back to East Coast, which we're gonna go ahead and pick it up now. Let's uh, hit the road, pick that load up and keep on driving. And ladies and gentlemen, the third load of the week is on the trailer. It is tarped and ready to go. I think it is a, it is a load of aluminum. They wanted us to tarp it and it is going to somewhere in New Jersey. So <laughs> we got loaded in California and uh, I'm actually pretty happy that uh, I got loaded in Ventura, California and it's not that hot, you know. Otherwise, I had another option <laughs> of taking a load of onion from Fresno, which is super hot. So, uh, and this came up, we gladly took this and uh, let's hit the road and see what kind of challenges we're gonna face. I stopped in to do my 30 minute break and I figured that I won't do it inside because my uh, brother-in-law is sleeping. The load is doing very well. I did not have to tighten any of the uh, uh, winches at all so everything is look, uh, looks nice and tight. I could have, uh, we could have done a little better job over here but I think uh, it is holding well except this end right here. It looks like it has been ripped Although we have, we have put uh, two blankets on top of that, uh, but it has still managed to rip through. So people have been commenting under my video saying that I, I am hauling cheap freight and they keep emphasizing, Yusuf, don't haul cheap freight. People like you are ruining the industry. So please tell me, what is your rate? I would like to know because I think I'm getting some uh, very close uh, to $8,000 on this load. And I remember specifically, I had one load uh, that was paying 8,400 and someone said, Yusuf, people like you are ruining the industry. So <laughs> please let me know what are your rates and whether you're doing short haul or long haul. And more importantly, are you an owner operator that is leased under someone else's company or is it your own authority that you're doing? So one thing that makes me uh, decide what rate is good for me, first of all, I'm, I'm doing long haul. So coast to coast mostly. And if, if, it, if, if it pays $2.80 or more, that is a really good rate. Sometimes you have to do it for a little less just to uh, kind of avoid you uh, wasting any time. So a long haul, coast to coast, anything over, $6,800 or $6,500 is good for me. Although I have been averaging about $7,500. So. so please let me know in the comment section, what are your rates? And if you're truly a truck driver or you're just someone uh, that is commenting in the basement, you know, and never have driven a truck. So we have made it to the shipper. I have went ahead and uh, unstrapped, I mean, untarped and everything. So that will save me time, but we have a situation the receiver has a very tight place to get into so now i'm gonna take you guys along with me so that you guys can see uh where i am as far as my trucking skill is uh is concerned probably not good whatsoever but uh, uh it's gonna test me out for sure so let's go ahead and do that
Okay, so let's break down the uh, trip. So the first trip paid $8,450. Second trip paid $6,900. And the third trip paid $7,800. So if you add them all up together, it comes up to $23,150. And we did 8,400 miles. So our rate per mile came to $2.75. That right there, I, th I know a lot of people are getting ready to type in Yusuf, uh, that's a crappy rate, why did you haul that, especially for team. Um, remember guys, this, uh, the loads that we hauled were not meant for team, so they were not paying uh, for team driving. It was just a solo uh, load where if you can get there faster, they can get, get, get you offloaded faster. So, unfortunately we didn't get a team specific load if we had that then obviously they would have paid much more maybe like nine thousand per load or or ten thousand dollars per load but um, at the end of the day my goal was to gross as much as i could and not worry about uh rate per mile that much because the rate per mile was already okay and instead of me wasting an entire day waiting for a load that I'm not even sure that whether it's gonna come around or not and end up end up not getting a load for an entire day and losing revenue so um, because of that I did not want to uh, just be so picky about rate per mile okay so I hope you understand and by the way please I think I have already mentioned to put down your rate per mile that you have been averaging for the past a month or so and what kind of uh, hauls do you do? Do you do long hauls, short hauls and whatnot? I, I really wanted to know, okay? And also to let you guys know that this trip was uh, eight days. So we started Friday and we end up Friday. So uh, it's technically eight days, uh, but I called it one week just to <laughs> make it simple. Uh, $23,150 for one week for a team. It is a great number uh, considered uh, our situation. Uh, because uh, I don't think you can uh, gross this kind of uh, a revenue if you if you had issues with the truck trailer or if you had to do a PM service or let's say one of your drivers did not feel good so they didn't drive as much as a uh, as they should uh, should have driven so just keep that in mind that this is probably uh, the most that you could make in the team driving. Uh, and also we did not have any problems at the shippers or the receiver for an entire one week so we got there and uh, they loaded us very fast and we got out of there very fast and uh, same thing goes for offloading sites we called ahead and when we got there they were very quick of loading and offloading so had it, had we had any problems with uh, shippers and receivers where sometimes they hold you for two three four five hours and sometimes even 10 hours i have i have waited as much as 10 hours to be loaded and 24 hours to be offloaded so if any of those situations arise obviously you will not able to uh gross as much as uh, as we did in this week because that will put you uh, one day late to your next pickup location or whatnot so just keep that in mind so yeah this was one of the videos that I have never made especially uh, since I've been driving solo but lately uh, I wanted to teach my brother-in-law a little bit more about uh, flatbed in case uh, that we need to switch drivers in both the trucks that I have they are more uh, ready to start right away instead of uh, doing any training in the future so and in the process i recorded my uh week and shared it with you guys so if you thought this was this video was interesting or entertaining please uh, make yourself known in the comment section thank you very much adios